For our first test, we'll be remaking these wheel cap covers because nearly every car has them. But before we start printing, we need to pick up the right material. We'll need something that can handle water, heat, and that's UV resistant. And that's where ASA comes in. It can handle temps up to 210 degrees Fahrenheit, is UV and water resistant. You can also find it in a variety of colors too. But ASA loves to absorb moisture. So to make sure our prints come out perfect, you'll have to dry your filament. You can do this with a filament dryer or an AMS unit with a built-in heater. Don't worry, we'll get to the AMS in a few. So now that our filament is drying, you're gonna need another thing, which are pre-made wheel cap cover designs. Now you can search on Google to see if you can find some that match your ride, but if you can't find any, they're actually pretty easy to make. I included a starter file you can download and modify in CAD, or you can join our on-demand workshop where I cover how to design custom car parts from scratch, which I'll leave in the video description below. Once you have your 3D printable file, or better known as an STL, you can drag it into your 3D printer software, and to make sure your filament dried properly, you can print test a wheel cap cover with a single color first. So here's the wheel cap cover printed in black, which is pretty boring. And that's where the AMS unit comes in or the automatic material system. So we did use this to heat our filament and this AMS2 from Bamboo Lab provides not only the ability to change the filament, but also to dry your filament. And the way it works is that each of these filaments has a motor and the motor is actually going to automatically feed your filament into the hot end of the printer down below. When the printer is done printing with that specific filament, it's gonna cut the end of the filament and then it's going to use the motor here to essentially feed the filament back and then it's gonna use the next motor to prime the next filament into position. And what happens is it'll go ahead and purge some excess filament because the red will be left over from where it cut it and it needs to purge that out so it doesn't bleed into your part with the wrong color. What you end up with is this. These are a bunch of purges from changing the filament as it went through changing each color. Now besides the poop, you'll end up with what's called a purge tower. So here you can see we had two different colors, white and red in our purge tower. And essentially the purge tower helps the pressure set correctly as the filament comes out with a new color, as well as helps flush out additional material. But I'm gonna show you how to take your design and add colors to it, as well as a couple of other tips and tricks to reduce some waste. So I'm gonna add the STL file that we were working with before and change the color to black. You can also import an image as an SVG file and we can delete the parts of the image that we don't want. And what we're left off with after we delete all the different parts of this SVG file is the BMW logo. And the next thing you'll wanna do is decrease the overall size to match to the wheel cap cover. So we can shrink the size and then we also can right click and center the design in order to make sure it matches up. Now, one of the other issues is that the logo is backwards. So we can go ahead and select lay on face and click on that logo and it'll flip it around to the right location. But the logo looks still a bit small so we can increase the scale a bit further and match it more to the entire width of the wheel cap cover. Once we change it to white, you can see that it's also bleeding through the top and it's a bit taller. So we're gonna bump the height of that object file down and this will affect how much filament we're using and the color change. Now we have it at the perfect height and we can see that it's bleeding through the white just enough, but here it doesn't look quite right. So what you'll need to do is go back to prepare, select the two objects and hit merge. Now, once you do that and you slice again, here you can see the color looks perfect. And here's the results. The ASA filament will hold up to the elements really well. And the clip design is strong, which is something else you can learn to make in the full workshop. So wheel cap covers aren't the only thing that you can 3D print multicolor. I also have this blank radio delete plate that I originally created in black, but I wanna give it a bit more flair. 
So let's throw this design in and see if we can add some more colors to spice things up a bit. So this time, once we have our file in, we're gonna bring an SVG file with some text. And once we delete the main part, you can see that we have tons of these other artifacts that we need to delete that's part of this SVG. So I'm gonna to go to the very bottom and select in bulk by shift clicking and deleting all the extra elements. And then I'm gonna center my part and reduce the size. And don't forget to flip the text. Now we're gonna change the color of the radio delete plate. Let's go with red and then we'll keep white for the text. And then I'm gonna readjust my height just like I did with the other part. And just like that, we are ready to print. But don't forget one last step, which is selecting the two parts again and hitting merge. So the radio delete plate with the red and white looks pretty good, but what if we could make something even bigger with more than just two colors? And so for this next part, I'm gonna search for some reference images from Rotiform AeroDisc. They have some free designs that I was able to find that we are gonna be able to download and throw into chat GPT as reference images in order to come up with a completely new design. And once we uploaded the reference images, ChatGPT was able to give us something that we could work with and download in the SVG format. So here I'm going to bring in our pre-made AeroDisc file and then we are also going to bring in the SVG file. And once we have it in place, I'm going to go ahead and select the design and I'm going to get it centered and I can also delete that one artifact. And now we're gonna go ahead and increase the scale in order to reach the outer diameter. Now I can go in and I can change the color. I'm gonna use white, black, and then I'm gonna use red for the center. Now you can see we have our little purge tower there. We can move it out of the way so it doesn't print on top of our design and now we can go ahead and adjust the height one millimeter for the height usually works pretty good and here you can see how much filament is wasted in the flush as well as the tower but one last thing don't forget the merge and now we're ready to print so here's the result with three colors and it came out way better than I thought it would. But if you don't want to rely on finding pre-made designs, you can make your own by watching this next video right here.